Hi, I'm Gary with Fairwheel Bikes. We broke out our test jig and today I wanted to test the new Extra Light QRC3 crank with you guys. Some little things, the overall arm shape has changed and with this crank they changed their machining process. So now they're using a 5 axis 3D milling process which allows them to work on all 5 axes of the crank at the same time. It takes about 4 or 5 hours to make a single set of cranks using this process. Crank has an integrated 30 millimeter spindle, two 6802 bearings. On the side that's stepped down, there's a really cool little reducer they put on there. And then when you order the crank, you choose the bottom bracket shell you want for your application. This crank also has a really cool little feature. It's an aero nose. Um, it makes the crank a little more aerodynamic and also keeps, um, you know, dirt and stuff out from the inside of the crank. It's an optional add-on for the arrow nose. First order of business is thrown in the bottom bracket. These are just a dummy pedal we use for the test. It's uh, basically just a spindle and then we're able to uh, use this thing to apply pressure. We finish our crank test. I have some results. Let's see how they stack up. In terms of total system weight, including the bottom bracket, the extra light cranks are gonna go between the Lightning and the Ellie Lee cranks at 563.9. For deflection, it will be the exact same as the AX Lightness alloy crank, 6.0. Stiffness to weight, 2.96. Cane Creek and the Ellie Lee again. There you have it.